Welcome back to another video where I play with the beautiful colors from Denise's palette, the art friendly uh, palette that she put together using Da Vinci watercolor paints. It's been quite a long absence, but I haven't forgot about this series and I plan to complete it. Today, today's color choices was orange and we know Denise, she's not a big fan of bright oranges. Uh, this palette has the Quinacridone Born Orange which is a pretty desaturated orange and this is how that burnt orange looks on the um, uh, arches watercolor paper which is it's pretty nice uh, i think it's a good color if you paint animals and some of the furs uh, I definitely can uh, use this color i like bright oranges almost like construction orange so i tried to figure out if i can get something like that using the yellows and the reds that are in the palette so this is a chart i put together and this is uh canson watercolor paper you can see the colors didn't came out as bright that they probably will if i paint uh, on arches watercolor paper or any other 100 percent cotton color paper but this is a good it gives us a good idea of what the colors might look and I also use probably a little more water than I normally do so I try to look um, in the palette look of all the colors and we know yellow and red uh, if we mix together we get an orange in this palette I consider the air light yellow uh, the Hansa yellow and the gold ochre as my main yellows, although the gold ochre might be a little warm and desaturated, so I consider those as my main yellows. And then the Da Vinci red, alizarin crimson, and red rose deep as my reds. Also, I wanted to see how uh, other shades that were close to these can play together and if see what kind of oranges or if i can get an orange so for yellow i chose the raw sienna deep and the raw sienna which i thought they might have just a tiny little yellow and for the reds i used the pearly maroon and the indian red and this is the chart that i came up with and uh i was not too surprised of the combinations i knew the probably the desaturated reds and the more neutral the raw sienna which some people might consider a brown they didn't give me a bright orange but i really enjoyed how the uh, red rose deep mix it with hansa yellow deep and with the uh, gold ochre so right here these two oranges i think they're really nice they have almost like a corally uh, quality to them i don't have the quinacridone coral from daniel smith which i've seen in a lot of videos and that's a gorgeous color so these are the oranges you can get the hansa yellow deep and the lizard crimson it's also very nice and possibly the hansa yellow deep and the da vinci red would have gave me a nicer shade of orange if i would have put more red so this color right in here i used more yellow kind of i tried to balance them out i found that the uh, da vinci red doesn't have that strong of a tinting strength um so i have to play with that more also another thing i wanted to see how does the um, quinacridone burnt orange plays with other colors so i made this little chart and I really enjoyed mixing the quinacridone burnt orange with the reds, especially with the red rose deep. It gives us the, this beautiful red, very vibrant. Alizarin crimson also. Da Vinci red, it gave me almost like a brick red. And then the yellow, it's more of a golden orange. It reminds me of fall leaves, which is appropriate since fall it's nearby and coming to perlin maroon and indian red i was not too impressed so i probably won't mix the quinacridone burnt orange with those colors 
overall this was a very very good exercise i enjoy figuring out all the colors i definitely found my favorites so i hope you get this set and play with it and let me know what you think thank you come back our uh, next video is gonna be uh, violets so if you like violet they want to see what kind of violets you can get with a beautiful palette put together by Denise come back hopefully it's not gonna be as long of a wait as this one thank you